So this is my billiards room. It's kind of where I just kick it at. Where did all the love of sneakers really start for you? Since I can ever remember, man, from playing when I was a kid, you know, getting one pair of shoes a year. <laughs> you know, always having dreams of having all the shoes, one shoes. Uh, you know, it's just kind of part of lifestyle. How do you really travel when you're on the road? And what are you really packing for a game? So we got you know, one of the best equipment managers in the game, uh, Tony Neller, and he always takes care of me, making sure we got, I got all my options and different things I want. You know, we got the sneaker bag. Let's check out the travel bag. Oh man, this is kind of a duffel bag for a whole team, right? Right, yeah, so this bag is made for like a whole team shoes on the road, but this is actually just for me. How many pairs of shoes do you wear a game usually? I've worn, I think, up to six pair in one game before, <laughs> which wasn't by design. I don't know why people think I like try to like show off a bunch of shoes. It's really just superstition a lot of times. If a shoe's not feeling good or, you know, some of these older shoes that I wear sometimes they break, you know, it just depends. So this is a lot of stuff you're playing in games in, but I know you also got some really rare stuff too. Well, we like to have a little fun a lot of times. Cactus Jacks, friends and family. And this is one of my favorite ones here, OVO Kentucky 14. Those splatter fours is probably my favorite shoe yet. It was big time to be able to get these. Giuseppe contacted us and uh, they wanted to do something. And uh, I came up with this colorway for my boys for the Rockets. Man, I've known Katie for so long. I brought him into Texas. Our connection is, is deeper than anything. This pair, it took me a long time to get and I sent him a picture and uh, his response is classic. He literally said, Peach, I really don't think I even have a pair. <laughs> It's got some really rare stuff up here, but this this can't be it, right? You got some other stuff? A few other things downstairs we can check out. All right, let's check it out. Let's do it. This, this can't be it. Is this it? Yeah, this is it, man. It's a couple of things that I love for. Thanks for coming. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kidding. Oh. All right, so you've definitely got a lot of stuff in here. How many pairs of shoes do you have? Uh, it's hard to say. Uh, you know, I give away so many, uh, but I'll probably say a few thousand. What's the most you've ever paid for a pair of shoes? Oh, that's a good one. Um, probably the Air Mag, uh, just because it was for charity. Uh, that was a pretty big shoe, and, uh, especially the second auto lace one. They were going for so much, so it was like 36,000. 36,000 for the Back to the Future Air Max. So over the last three years, I mean, unofficially, you've basically been the sneaker champ of the whole league. And as you were going into this season, how much was it on your mind that you had to defend the belt? It never crosses my mind, man. Like, I, I really, it's more of a lifestyle, man. Honestly, if I, there were no Instagram, if there were no video cameras at games, I would still change shoes and do it every single day uh, like I do. It's a part of my life. It's something that I do every day. I probably spend four hours a day of my free time on the phone, texting, uh, buying, figuring out who has what, trying to get stuff. Uh, it's something that I'll do probably till the day I die. 